What percentage of M protein equals cancer? It would also be helpful to know when to be alarmed if that percentage goes up and at what rate it goes up. We know that myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells that makes that M protein or what we call monoclonal protein because it's an identical protein. That's really what cancer is in its essence is identical growth. Whether it's a, a breast lump or a lung t a tumor or a colon tumor, we know that it's a piece of tissue that grows out of control that's, if you will, identical. We see that with myeloma, but we don't necessarily call it cancer every time we find a little bit of M protein because we know that 5% of all people over the age of 40 have a little bit of an M protein. That's what we call MGUS, or monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance. And we know that that's so common, but a small percentage of those patients go on to develop smoldering myeloma and then go on to develop active myeloma. So what we do monitor, as you've noted in the question, is what is the size of the protein and how fast is it growing if it is growing? And we do try to draw some specific lines, but it's complicated. It isn't just an absolute number that says, oh, as soon as the M spike goes over 1.5 or 2 or 3 or 4, is it active?